Good evening everyone, this is Vernon, the Mature Patriot, coming to you by Two Busted Thumbs Productions. You will see in my channel name that I have added the Two Busted Thumbs to it. It's Mature, ba mature Patriot slash Two Busted Thumbs. I'm wanting to actually change the channel name to Two Busted Thumbs Machining. But I want to get input from my followers to see what you think of that name change. I'm coming to you tonight with a small project. James Deadman sent me an oil can, but I'm going to show it to you. Hold on. It's an oil can made out of a either a soup can or a small fruit can that he has put a I think a Delrin top in and PVC coming out of the top of it where you put your brush in. Now James sent me this can to evaluate to see what I thought about it and I'm glad to know that he has faith and trust in me to evaluate something he's made to see what I think of it. It's a, it's a great little oil can. The only, the only problem I saw with it was the top where you insert the, the brush to get the oil was a little small. It it's, uh, looks to be a half inch PVC pipe and it, it was just a little small for me to get a brush in and out of so what I'm going to do tonight is put some heat on this PVC and see if I can flare it out just a little bit to make it easier for me to get the brush into going back to get more oil. Now that might not be a problem for some of you but uh, I have noticed that I have developed what might be called essential tremors and I have a problem sometimes when I'm trying to insert something in a small hole. And actually I have trouble sometimes when I'm trying to insert something in this big hole called my mouth when I'm trying to eat. So I'm going to flare this PVC pipe out or attempt to. And if I can get it flared out, I believe that will help me use James oil can. That might not be necessary for everybody, but it's just the only thing I saw that I would need not I'm not saying improve it I'm saying change it so that I can use it better stay tuned hello everyone guess what finally came my new double boost hat and my mug they had to send out a second set because the first set somehow got out shipped with the incorrect zip code and it went to New Jersey and Memphis and New Jersey and then the last I heard it was on its way to Jamaica so the company over there uh, when I let them know what I had found out why it had not been delivered they went ahead and sent me another one so I got it in short order and all is right with the world. Things happen. Yeah, I'm not upset with them because they made it right. Didn't didn't break any any of my bones and it didn't cause me to bleed. So there we go. Put a new light up in here tonight to try to put more light on the subject, but then I realized it was too much light so I'm gonna to have to fix me a diffuser for it right now I've just got a paper towel over it to diffuse the light some any of you who follow James Deadman's channel recognize his new oil can James sent me this oil can and wanted me to evaluate it and the only thing I could see that might be an issue is the top of it here it's it's a little tight on getting your oil brush down in there. 
and I asked him if there was any way to flare this and he said that not with the fittings and stuff he had so what I'm going to try to do tonight is uh, using my Sunbeam heat gun I hope you can see that it's actually an old hair dryer I got for two bucks at uh, the Knox area rescue ministries I'm gonna heat up this PVC and see if I can flare it a little bit using this old dead center and it won't need much just a little bit of flaring to get the brush in there a little easier and that that is truly the only issue I saw with this oil can now I took James's label off of this so that the heat wouldn't mess the glue up on it now this is going to be quite noisy so I'm gonna let you guys rest while I put some heat on this and see if I can get this to flare out just a little bit making it just a little easier to get the oil brush in there be back in a few so as you can see if I get you in the frame I was able to get some flaring on it I didn't want to take it too far I was afraid I might split the pipe this uh, hair dryer will only get it so hot and I didn't want to I think I could have gone more than that but that is an ample amount of flaring on there to allow the brush to go down down in there just a little easier it may not be necessary for some people who uh, have steadier hands than I have now but sometimes I get what's called essential tremors and uh, I have problems but that helps me get that in there just a little easier now with that flaring on it James you got a good product buddy that's just me altering it to assist me in using it that's a good size product too that's um, I think he's made that out of a, either a soup can or a uh, small fruit can I'm not sure which but uh, go to James Deadman's channel look it up I'm sure he's got a video on this and uh, see how he made this I took his like I said I took his emblem off of it so that the heat wouldn't affect it and before I put his emblem back on I'm gonna paint this um, the hammered hammer tone gray and then put his label back on I'm not gonna paint the top I'm just gonna paint the can James thank you sir I appreciate the oil can that ought to work great the way the bottom is recessed on this the man could put a couple of uh, maybe three of the small one either or either one large one or three of the small uh, neodymium magnets on there and that's not going to go anywhere it's 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 as you can see you got to tip it pretty far over to get it fall out as it is and that's it, without even having any oil in the base of it that's that's going to be a good stable can all right go to James Deadman's channel now as I told you in the video I went ahead and put a coat of the hammered gray on there I don't know if you can tell what it looks like or not but it turned out pretty good left the top white I'm sure at some point it will get stained with oil but now I can put James's logo back on here 
And I may go over the logo and the can with some clear lacquer after that to keep the logo from going south as it gets used. But there you go. Just a small, short project. Now, guys, I don't ever expect my channel to be monetized because I just do this for fun. And But those that are monetized and are making money off of this, don't begrudge them anything. They put a lot of effort into this. If you've never done YouTube videos, you don't know all the time that's spent off camera editing these videos so they can give you the best product possible. So, I'm going to quit, crawl down off my soapbox now and say, I hope everyone a good night. God bless you. May you have a wonderful tomorrow. Amen. I started to say Keith Richards. <laughs> Sorry, Keith Fenner. You don't look anything like Keith Richards.